everyone welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos if you want to know how i made these crushes please keep on watching and you see how good how i'm going to do it everyone welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video in this video i'll be showing you how to make scratches from your leftover fabric these fabrics here are the leftover fabric for my projects so I'll be using them to pack my wig. You know, I always like to be a wig. <laughs> so what I'll be using today is uh, this leftover fabric. It's going to be three designs. This is Ankara with satin. And this is just satin. And this is a plain material. And I'll be using the tape measure. I'll be needing my pin. And I'll be using this elastic. This elastic, I'm going to be splitting it to three places for this project. And also I'll be using my needles and I'll be using my scissors. So guys, let's get started. So what I have here today is this. I have uh, the lens, these three squashes are of different lengths. So I'll be using, so from here, my lens here is, uh, sorry that my table is small, it's 39. So 39 inches by four and a half. 39 inches by length, then the depth is four, Point five that we'll be using. So let's get started. This elastic I'll be splitting it into three. The length of this elastic is eleven point five inches. So I'll be splitting this into three places for these three scratches. So I'll be cutting this in a tiny bit, so I'll be able to use it for my projects. Split this elastic into three places in tiny in three tiny portion. So I'm gonna keep this aside because I'll be needing this later. First of all, I'm gonna keep this one aside, and I'll start with this first. The first thing I'll be going to do here is this. I'm going to what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stitch this together. Like this, I'll stitch. So I'm going to stitch this together. Then flat it this in completely to make it have a nice, clean, nice look. Finish stitching this. Now it's, uh, you can see it's like a circle. You see, like a circle. So the next thing I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to fit, flip it to the right side. But now this is the wrong side. So I'll just flip, flip it like this. The wrong to the right side. So now we are on the right side. So the next step is for me to do it like this. Fold it into two on the right side like this then I make sure it's equal at the edge then I'll take it to my sewing machine I will take quarter of an inch like this then quarter of an inch as well like this then I'll put it all together you see that so when I take it to my sewing machine I'll be I'll flip it over a tiny bit of it quarter of an inch then I will stitch like so from here straight down round the circle so what i'm going to leave an opening so now i'm on my sewing machine so i'm going to I flip it over on the right side this is the right side and i make sure both are equal so on this side is equal now then i'm going to take quarter tiny bits like this then i'll go to the other side as well take tiny bits like this then I'll place it on my same machine like this then haven't gotten that I'll start flipping it like this you see I flip it again oh, flip it again so what you are doing just be careful anyway when you're doing it so just do this bit by bit. So 
just take a tiny portion like this and stitch can see I finished stitching it round it's like a waistband but it's not waistband this is scrunchies for to tie your hair so what I did here was this when I finished stitching it round um I left opening here if you can see the tiny opening yeah so what I'm going to do here I'm going to need to pin this pin here this one, the other end, I will attach it to this side, like so. So the reason why I did this because when I'm putting it inside the hole, it will not, everything will not go inside once, you know. So this one here, I'm going to stick it in, like so. Stick it in, then. So, I forgot to tell you guys, there is another thing you have to know. When you are putting your elastic, make sure it's at the top of the sewing, the, when I had it together, when I sewed, stitched them together, make sure it has to be on top. To make you have a very light and um, beautiful design. So, you see, I keep on pulling it in. Then I stretch it. I pull it in again. My stretch just how it's gonna be I just keep on pulling it in till I get to the other opening like this I stretch you see you can see the gather so take it to my same machine I, I neatly fold it in Then I stitch a back stitch. I stitch now. So now our scratches is ready. So you can use it to tie your hair, you know, to suit, to match the clothes, the clothes you are putting on. If you are wearing Ankara, you know, I always love Ankara dresses. Wear Ankara or any any style. Just take the fabric you use to make it scrunchies and use to pack your hair. So it will go with your dress, you know. So I'm going to use this method to to do the other two fabric which I showed you. The same way I did this, that's the same method I'm going to apply on the other fabric. So friends, this is the end of the tutorial. So this is the scratch that I made. And the second one with Akara with Satin, which I mixed together. So I hope you like to do it. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe and share my video. So for now, one peace, one love, and bye for now.